Hey guys, this is Bobby, and here's part two. Now, first up is the review, uh, is a movie review for The Blind Side, starring Sandra Bullock and Tim McGraw. Now, the movie is about Michael Orr of the Baltimore Ravens, and his life, um, when his life, when his life was changed by when after being taken by the Tui family, and what also what became his destiny as being a perf uh, being a football player. The movie was very emotional. Um, some things you just couldn't help laugh at. You're like, oh my god, <laughs> and it was just really cool. I mean, I like, I loved how like how like what happened at Michael's first game, um, when the after the coach um, did something for him. I won't say what because I don't want to spoil it for some of you. But let's say what Michael did after that. I was laughing my head off. But yeah. Uh, he, he um his bond with his adopted uh, his brother his his adopted brother and sister were really cool particularly his little brother who who, who was just fly out funny and um and the bond he and definitely the mother son relationship between him and Mrs. Tui played by Sandra Bullock it was really cool and Kathy Bates is in it of course and the movie this is very emotional. And for those of you who haven't seen, I should warn you, are you Redskin fans out there? You might want to miss the first few minutes of it because it shows Joe Theismann's career-ending injury. And anybody who's seen that enough times, even you go. <laughs> but but coincidentally, that day I wore this very shirt underneath my Chris Cooley Redskins jersey. But it's the fact that I wore this t Ravens T-shirt when I saw the movie. Now, but, yeah, the movie was, I definitely give the movie a 10, uh, like, a 15 out of 10, and I'm going to add it to my DVD collection. In fact, I'll probably give it to a friend of mine, because, um, she's a Ravens fan. And I'm, I admit, I'm a bit of a Ravens fan, too, but, you know, I'm, I'm more loyal to, wa to Washington, seeing as, how, seeing as how I was raised a Redskin fan. But still. Um, and, like I said, the character development, and the fact that this was based on a true story. And it's about a guy who's who's on a team that uh, on, a, on a local football uh, a, pro, um, a professional football team that I also happen to be a fan of made it even more awesome. Now that day at the mall, I, I mean, that day I saw a total of seventeen Mustangs, and Sarah and I Sarah was running a bit late, um, and so while I waited, I just well, Count Mustangs and look through his Marvel and Cy Marvel Comics Encyclopedia book, and was uh, uh, saw some a lot of cool stuff. And then, and I was I think I was in the seas when she showed up. You know, we just walked around the store, uh, walked around the mall. You know, we just hung out, and we had TGI Fridays for lunch at that time. And in fact, we even signed up to get uh to get the TGI Friday uh, membership cards, which allow us to. Like get to like even when the place is crowded, we're one of the whoever if we have one of those we get seated ahead of everyone, which is pretty wicked if you ask me. We haven't we haven't utilized that little that little advantage yet, but you know we leave it on on the table for for our waiter to swipe. So it's kind of like the Vic card at at, the, at Harris Theater where I work. But yeah, and after and and. In fact, I had, I think, I can't remember what I had, but I know, well, yeah, who cares about what I had, but I remember what I had the next, the second time I went to, the last time I went to the TGI Fridays. In fact, but yeah, um, I'm trying to see what else I should talk about. Well, ooh, yeah, I think I'll wait until part three to talk about the next movie review. End of part two.